Leah being locked in mid. This Azir. one is uh, different. Three different picks now for Niski wow. in that mid lane. A lot more hey. variety. This this Azir pick did not look good for Niski in the regular season. The difference in farm in mid. Niski has actually been able to build him up a himself up an 11 CS lead very early on Spies into the attack him there, but they didn't do it. Gonna get hooked, unraveled, Earth knocks him right back over the wall, tries to flash to safety, also trying to take himself out. Is he gonna go down? Ignite is taking oh, first bang. blood! <laughs> Many true backs over the wall, secures it for It belonged to Vitality, and they punished Shizuke. Unraveled, Earth doesn't connect, trying to find a way back, does use the ult. Nice to push him away. Niski gonna make it up to safety. Good patience comes in, but Jackson with the flash, it does connect! What a madman in the mid lane! Niski gonna go down, TP coming in, but it's too little too late from Kasing. And we talked about how Jackson was consistently trying uh -oh. to defend Buck. Oh! oh they got that one. Well, Lantern was there a little bit too late. I guess uh, Vitality got a little bit too confident. Junglers. Bot and Toad, of course, going down. This was the big problem of just Vitality. Pushing in 24 seconds to isolate out Jazuke. Kaba was there as well. They're free to group up this five around the mid lane. Splice want to see what they can do to match, but they're going to lose the mid lane tower regardless. Vitality happy with We're going to find out there's a play over the wall. Hook is going to connect. Lantern goes back, bringing Gilius over. No longer scared of that one, but it's the flash out to safety from Kasing. Now backing off. Suke throws out a threat of ball. He connects a bit of damage. Kabe. Raise the shift there. Oh, Major Bash now pressuring. We could just see the full on fight. Everybody moving into this one, trying to isolate a target, trying to pick off Jackroll. He may just get taken down. Oduwamani now wants to turn and burn here. Call the four yard, gonna get knocked back and will connect on two members. Splice collapsing beautifully to turn the fight. Big, big plays. We just talked about how Splice are not far enough behind in this game that they can't do anything. So they actually will gap. They want to make up for the deficit that they fell behind. And now look at Jizuke. He's gonna Jizuke. get knocked up. Knock up is gonna connect. They're gonna find the follow up immediately. Jizuke now in trouble. Flash forward. No hesitation. Niski gonna grab the kill. Another good punish there from Splice. They'll secure themselves the mid tier one and the gold is mid dead. Mid with all the available. And while there's a lot of engage as you highlight with the Orn on the side of Splice, does he have the top? He's okay. Oh, I'm missing Double everything. The ulti, good sidestep. He's on the hunt. Comes oh, okay, now oh. He's looking for the outplay. The heal comes in from True Pax. There to back up his brother in arms. Kasing now running for his life. Vitality may have found the turn here. Another undertow connects. Kasing just running. Xerse leaving him to die. They're going to pick up the prize there. Vitality twice regrouping on a challenge this Drake. Okay, going to get the smite down. Will heal up a little bit. Drake now secured. 3k. That's gone now. Have to wait on the play. No flash. Jackal retreating. Tries to play them back. On the hunt now. Use Lantern only there to protect himself. Nurse going to move forward. Are they going to find it? They will manage to take him down. A lot of resources committed there on the top side. Zeke's convergence comes out. Cabo though. They have stayed too long. On the hunt has now been burned. They're going to try to look to turn this one back. Tuya Wall on the backside. Meanwhile, separating the fight as Cersei goes down. No one has dropped in the meantime. Cabo in the middle of everything. Two members knocked up. Mini oh! to touch. A beautiful fight comes in. They want to clean it up. Kabi runs for his life. Jazuke feeling frisk as they secure themselves the Baron. And this is how Vitality wants to play around a Baron. It's not starting it and dancing around. It's get a fight. Win that. They have the Sivir to push out these waves. They have Jazuke to threaten the zone control from the Talia. So powerful against anyone who wants the to. The Drake coming later. One minute left on S Vitality's Baron buff. Seems to be staying around. For the next Baron to spawn, or will they try and force a risky engage against this splice line? Oh, oh, a little too confident there. It's just gonna get deleted. I mean, that's the other option. Just find yourself a pick with the front line of dead and a 48 second death timer. Vitality should feel bold and confident to go for hey, the tower. Vitality want an opening. That's definitely it. 13 seconds left on the Baron buff. They're going to be able to break this tower and at least break one inhibitor if they want to commit for it. Gilius does get very low, but many true packs is untouched. He keeps free hitting on this inhibitor. That's one down in the favor of Vitality. Kabe. Desperate Vitality to get are ready to contest for, ready to push back. Unraveled Earth not going to be used. Gilius ready to threaten. Tower will go down in the meantime. Many true packs. It's a few hits onto Odo. The crit's coming through as it hits every member of the team, and another inhibitor is going to fall in favor of Vitality as Splice are just forced away from their own base. Love the confidence that we're seeing from Vitality. They land the hook. Look on Odo one man, the immediate chain CC. They want to block. Kasing wants to disengage, but it might be too little too late. Cabo, in the middle of everything, just gets pulled right back out to safety, and now it's mid lane in the sights of Vitality. Members in the mid lane, and they have their ourselves in the third and final hit. One last tower in their sights. If they get the third inhibitor, it'll be all too easy to end the game. They need to find some kind of advantage here. Cabo standing on the front line, body blocking, make sure the edge wheel cannot get in. There's the pick potentially off onto Zerse. May just go down right here. Mini True Packs auto attacks now unstoppable. Jazuke fearless on the front lines. Gilius now running it. He's going to pick up Kasing. Everything Vitality wanted. All it took was a single Baron fight. And Vitality just continued to bring it home. Niski pulled off and knocked back as Vitality looked to push for the win. Such dominance once again from Vitality. They're going to take us to match point as they crush Splice in these later fights.
two very one-sided games into this beautiful back and forth, but it's Vitality who reigns supreme in game three. Close around the 20 minute mark, came down to some Baron fights and Vitality didn't have to start the Baron to bait. They apparently just had to put Cabochard in the river without a flash. <laughs> and Vitality, uh, Splice like, oh!